Um, in the Sunday Telegraph, we had all the fuss about Roald Dahl recently. Mm. Now, um, Ian Fleming's novels have been rewritten. Yes. Bond has changed. <laughs> Bond's gone woke. Um, no, th this is a story very similar to Roald Dahl, actually, a story that everyone's been absorbing this week, whereby the owners of the estate, of the novels, they're bringing out the kind of classic collection, if you will, or new editions, and they've let these so-called sensitivity readers loose on them to make sure that anything which might effect, effectively upset kind of modern sensibilities are taken out. Now, given the fact that these novels are, are quite old and they were written for an adult audience, there are some things in there which might yeah. strike people as racist, as by modern standards, thing, you know, certain descriptions which sound stereotypical and so on. But at the same time, they, they were written of a, a certain time. And do we want to get into a situation where everything does have to be updated almost generation upon generation because mm. there are words, attitudes, whatever it might be that upset us. I mean, I think in the current set of editions, there's um, some sort of disclaimer which is going to be at the front, but apparently that's not enough. Whole sentences have been changed, grafted on. And that's one thing that we saw with Roald Dahl as well. It's like when you're actually getting into a situation where you're inserting entire sentences, it does get to the point where you think, at what point does this cease to be that individual's novel? And it mm. just becomes a kind of approximation of it for a new audience. Mm. And if people want to write new books, which are more in line with people's sensibilities, which I think aren't going to upset people, <laughs> great. But Doing this kind of endlessly doesn't seem to me to be sensible. And also there's no demand for it. There's no big, huge section of James Bond fans who are saying, we love these novels, but we really don't like that stuff. Can you take it out? It's all happening at the behest of the publishing houses themselves because they're trying to ward off some sort of hypothetical controversy that doesn't even exist yet. Mm. It's a very strange state of affairs. What do you think? I mean, I'm, I tend to agree. Um, I think we need to understand complex characters are complex. Mm. And... Uh, even our heroes um, are... I mean, James Bond is a heavy-drinking, mm. misogynist, um, kills at the drop of a hat. This is not a guy that doesn't have his complexities, and you can't write all of that out. Um, that he is also uh, demonstrating attitudes that were prevalent in the times that the books were written mm. should be a discussion, not a closed down of discussion. Mm. We should say, you know, this is what a agent of the British state probably did think about foreigners at the time. And isn't that interesting? Let's talk about why that was, how that happened. Um, think about the ways that we've moved on and what, what an agent might be like now. But I think in part, because Bond as a franchise, as a character, still exists in our modern world, we feel better able maybe to try and make him represent modern mores and values. Yeah, but it's, mm. but it's interesting, that, isn't it? Isn't it? Because <coughs> we, you know, we need to... Just, I've got to say, I've never read a Bond no. book in my life, but yeah. I think I've seen every film. Mm. Um, and, and so our... I mean, they're, they're, they're making the Bond films mm -hmm. now to, to fit in with... With yeah. how you know, with our modern thinking, which is perfectly you know, fine because they're is, newly written yeah. films. So that's, 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 so that's different. Fine. I was going to say, but why then you would need to to rewrite a book? Because you've got, I think, you just need to read everything within a context, mm. don't you? And I think until five minutes ago, we trusted people to do that. <laughs> you well, know, yeah, there are, and because oh. it's when you think about it, this it would be endless. You're going to go through Shakespeare and find that all well, this is a bit weird when it comes to describing foreigners. What do you do when you end up with the Old Testament? I mean, all of these different things, you do wonder... <laughs> where do you draw the, the, line? You draw the line? And so why don't we just trust people to get on with it and appreciate yeah. these things? And, and teach them. critical reading skills, which is actually a far more important thing than protecting people from things that might upset them. Teach them how to cope with things that upset them, because the world upsets people. Yeah, mm. yeah, no, I agree. <laughs> We've got to be more resilient, haven't we?